Jerusha together with you this morning on commanding your day. And I have a word from the Lord for you this morning. And uh, I'm excited to have us appear before the Lord this morning. Enjoy. This is a new week and a new day and a day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, it's a new week and of course a new day. And every day is an opportunity that the Lord has given us under the sun. One in which is going to be doing great things in our lives and one in which we can seize and change the situations and circumstances around our lives. I'm glad to be with us this morning on commanding your day. And God has a word for somebody this morning. If this is your very first time joining in, I want you to subscribe. I want you to like and I want you to touch notification bell so that every time that we are live, you are going to be connected. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Once more, if this is your very first time connecting in here, I want you to subscribe. I want you to like. I want you to touch notification bell so that every time we are live, you're going to be connected. Father, we thank you for today. We give you glory. We give you honor for you are God and there is no one like you. We thank you, Father, for an opportunity to be in your presence this morning. Thank you, Lord, for fighting our battles over the night. Thank you for defending us. Thank you, Lord for preserving us. Thank you, oh God, for being a hope, mm -hmm. for being a shield, for being a sustainer. Lord, we give you praise this morning. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, oh God, for defending, for sustaining, for protecting. Thank you, oh God, for your kindness towards us. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's a day you've made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, faithful God, for a new week. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Miriam and Mesong, you are welcome. Happy New Week. And God bless you. Share and tell somebody that we are live on Healing Campaign. And it's a session that takes place between the hour of 6 and 7. And God has a word for somebody this morning. If you're just joining in, I want you to be ready for God's word right now. I'm going to release it and I believe the Lord that he's going to open up this new week for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We're going to be reading this morning. Our prophetic um, word is anchored from 2 Kings. 2 Kings 7. 2 Kings 7. We're reading from verse 3. It's an interesting story that God dropped on my spirit yesterday. I, I was, I was was reading it on the early mornings. I was reading with a lot of joy in my heart because I know that the entrance to his word brings light and understanding to the simple. The entrance into God's word brings light and it brings understanding to the simple. Hallelujah. Amen. We're reading from 2 Kings 7. 2 Kings 7 um, from verse 3. It says, uh, we're going to take a few verses there that are connected to what God dropped to my heart. It says, now there were four leprous men at the entrance of the gate and they said to one another, they said to one another, why are we sitting here? Why are we sitting here until we die? And then um, verse five, it says, and they rose at three lights to the camp of the Syrians. Yeah. The rose at three lights, like in the early mornings, like this. The rose at, rose at three lights to the to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they had come to the outskirts of the Syrian camp, to their surprise, no one was there. Listen to what verse six is. For the Lord had caused the army of the Syrians to hear the noise of the chariots and and the noise of the horses, the noise of a great army. So they said to one another, look, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of Hittites and the kings of Egyptians to attack us. Praise the Lord. It's, it's, a, it's a very long story, but I would want to, I would want to just explain it to, to us. Amen and amen. Now you must understand that these are the four leopards who at, at, at the verge were asking themselves, 
Amen. At the verge of a battle, after a battle, were asking themselves, should we enter the land where there is war? Should we enter the land where there is war or we, st we, or, or we stay and die? And the Bible says that the Lord, as they made up their minds to enter the land of the Syrians, the, 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 as they made up their minds, the Lord amplified their steps. That's, that's a focal point for this morning. The Bible says the Lord amplified their steps. The Lord made their steps loud like that of a chariot. These four leopards had their steps amplified by the Lord. And so they invaded there. They invaded there. And the Bible says, the rest of the story says, they got the spoils, they got the money, they got the riches, they got the treasures. This morning, I want to tell somebody that as you enter a new week, God is getting ready to amplify your steps. What do steps speak of? Steps speak of effort. The Bible says, whatever your hands set to do, God is going to bless it. Whatever you find doing, God is going to amplify it this morning, this week in the name of Jesus. Whatever you find, steps speak of efforts towards life. Still speak of whatever you're engaging this week. And so I came to let you know that whatever you're going to find doing this week and today, God is going to increase it in measures beyond your understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says their, their steps were hurt like the noise of horses and chariots. In the Bible, there's leopards were people that were isolated. Leopards were people that needed help. Leopards were people that couldn't do, you know, on their own or on needed someone to help them but the bible says they released their faith and they preferred instead of dying on one spot you know instead of wallowing on one spot into frustration and depression they made up their minds to make those steps of faith i pray for somebody this morning that as you're making up your mind as you're making up your mind to make those steps of faith in your business in your career in your destiny as concerning every and any area of your life the Lord Jesus Christ is amplifying your steps this morning. That's the prophetic word that the Lord gave me for somebody this morning. God is getting ready to amplify your steps, to make them louder, to make them bigger. Every step of faith that you're going to be taking. Maybe I'm speaking to you, to you right now and you are seeking your body. God says this season and this week, every step of faith that you will take, he's going to amplify it. It's going to make it louder. It's going to make it louder. Maybe you haven't seen that your healing is progressive because you haven't taken the steps of faith that you should take. Maybe you haven't been able to see that God can bless you in business and in other areas because you haven't taken the steps of faith that are required for you to take. Listen, sometimes it's just a step, step of faith. Sometimes it's just a step of faith and the rest is history. Sometimes it's just a step of faith and the rest is history. The rest rest God takes over. The rest God provides. The rest make God makes opportunities available for you. I'm speaking to somebody this morning who is getting ready to take steps of faith. Steps of faith towards that victory. Steps of faith towards that breakthrough. Steps of faith towards that opportunity. You are getting ready to take, to take those steps of faith this morning. You are not going to say yes to defeat any longer. You are not going to listen to the excuses around you any longer. If you can faith it, then you can have it. Listen, I said, if you can faith it, then you can have it. If you can faith it, then you can have it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for somebody whose faith is dwindling, whose faith is dangling, whose faith is undulating, whose faith is not steady. I'm praying for you you this morning and this season that as you're stepping out as you're stepping out today God is amplifying every step of yours in the name of Jesus maybe you're giving yourself so many excuses oh I'm from this kind of background oh I'm not used to this kind of things oh I was raised this way I was raised that way oh this is this and this is that listen every time you make excuses you don't see God's hand every time you make excuses, especially when God is expecting you to take particular steps of faith. Some things are not going to come and meet you where you are. There are steps of faith to do, to write an application and have a job. There are steps of 
of faith to go drop your document. Those are necessary steps of faith that you should take before you go speaking in tongues. Steps of faith to, to appear before, you no, know, before the jury for an interview, for a job. That's a major step of faith. Step of faith to see somebody you know can be of help to you or can recommend you or can keep or can help you, you know, get engaged in one thing. It's a step of faith to partner with a friend to start a business. It's, it's a step of faith to buy small shares there and buy. It is a step of faith to engage in going to buy your stuff and comments. Those are steps of faith that are necessary for every believer who is trusting the Lord for new levels, who is trusting God to do great things. Those are steps of faith that are very, very necessary to take. And so I'm praying for you the morning whatever has been the hindrance whatever has been the hindrance what has made you afraid that you can't take the steps of faith that you should take remember these were leopards good morning frank zuma this is commanding your day these were lepers lepers that are often isolated lepers that nobody has time maybe your own excuse is that your relatives have left you your wife has left you maybe your husband has left you maybe your own excuse is that your children don't care for you you know so many excuses could be the you know, could 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 be the reason why this leopard refused to engage in this type of faith. But the Bible says they were not bothered. They came together. They came together. They came to. Sometimes it is easy to make a decision when you're partnering with somebody. Sometimes it's easy to make a decision when you are with your kind. Okay, and that's I want to discourage the fact that at a point in life you should be hanging around with people that don't have the same kind of faith that you have. Maybe you are believing God for something and you're hanging around people that don't have faith the way you do. Okay, everything is bought with a simple currency and that currency is faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So sometimes when you're about to engage on those in those phases or in those decisions okay sometimes you're about to engage in those steps of faith it's important to hook up with somebody who believes in you it's important to hook up with somebody who sees life like you see life it's important to hook up with somebody who understands your kind of people that have your kind of perspective and oftentimes they'll always say go it's possible oftentimes they'll always say i'm with you you have my support you know always they'll, 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 they'll encourage you the problem sometimes in life is that most of us will go hang around people who are going to discourage you around the things that you have set your heart to do I pray for you this morning that this week the Lord is curting out your company. God is separating you from the people that dwindle faith, that weave of faith, that kill your faith. God is going to separate you from those kind of people in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you this morning that the steps of faith that you take this week will take you closer to your miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. I was talking with somebody yesterday. I said, sometimes you may not even need money to make that step of faith sometimes you just need moral support that's why it is important to get the right spiritual sources to get the right coaches around the affairs of your life get somebody who's coaching you in business somebody who's coaching you in career somebody's coaching you in ministry it's very very important very 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 important sometimes you may not sometimes you just need somebody to put in a word and tell you you know what you can do it i'm here this morning to be that one person on your path saying you can do it this week and even more the bible says greater things shall we do than jesus did i'm here this morning to say you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. You can do all things. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. I want you to go back. You're going to read the story. Second Kings 7 from verse 3. It's an interesting story where God amplified the steps of lepers. The steps of lepers. The Bible says they returned to their country with lots of spoils. Spoil speaks of riches. In other words, they entered the camp of the enemy and they were able to recover everything. They returned in a lot of wealth, in a lot of assets, in a lot of you, you can you can name it. You can name it. God is getting ready to amplify your steps this week. Hear me and hear me good. This is the word of God for somebody this week. As you open the week. 
I'm telling you, God is getting ready to amplify your steps of faith, to make your step loud as concerns that thing that you desire. Don't just sit on one spot and watch it pass you by. Don't just sit on one spot and watch it happen for other people and you are not one of the people. You can decide to be the one who is going to go get it. This leopard decided we are not going to sit on a spot. We are not going to sit on a spot. I have said so many times, sometimes it takes the same energy, the same energy to stay or move backwards. It's the same energy you would have converted to propelling you forward. God is getting ready this morning to help somebody who is ready to take a step of faith. God is getting ready this morning and in this new week, to propel somebody by his wind and by his mighty hand. But you must come to that place where you are ready. You must come to that place where you are ready to take a step of faith. To take a step of faith. The leper said, why sit we here? Says, why sit we here? They say, if we sit here, we're going to die. So we better, we better put in the energy required to move forward. You've been having an idea the Lord has been giving you for the past days and you've been asking yourself every time you want to engage in that idea, it could be a business idea. It could be an idea to change something. It could be an idea for an upgrade. Every time you're about to engage, you need the devil tells you, are you sure it's going to work? Are you sure it's going to work? Every time you start hearing those kind of statements, sometimes it's an indication that the devil is scared because he knows the next step or the next phase of your life is going to be a big blow to him. The next phase of your life could actually be something he has fought over that you never have or your family never lives in or your family never has. So he begins to, they are called mental bombardment. He begins to bombard your mind with crazy stuff. He makes you feel it's not possible. It's not going to work. It's not, it's not going to happen. Oh, are you sure it's going to work? Oh, maybe it's going to fail. Maybe. I can let you know. When the devil says maybe it's going to fail, tell him there's no maybe here. Tell him it's going to work. He says, what if? Tell him, what if it also works? That's how I do answer sometimes. When the devil comes, he says, what if? I say, what if it works? What if it works? What if it works? Mm. After vision is venture. Take note of those words. After vision is venture. After vision is venture. The Bible says in Habakkuk, it says write the vision down and make it plain. After you've written down the vision, the next thing is to venture. If you don't venture, you're not going to have it. Is somebody getting me this morning? Every great achiever that you admire every time. These are people that have taken a step to venture, that have taken a step to venture. I want to speak to somebody this morning. You're just a venture away from what God wants to do. Oh, glory, hallelujah. What an awesome way to start the week. You are just a venture. You are just a venture away from it. You are just a venture away. So after the vision is written, written, it's not going to leave the pages and be executed until somebody is ready to venture into something. This was the story. This is exactly what the, the four lepers did in the book of 2 Kings 7. They were ready. To, it's not just writing the vision. Oh, I dream that someday I'm going to ride this car. I'm dreaming. You're writing the vision down. This is my dream house. I want to build this. There's going to be an apartment here. There's going to be a book here. There's going to be a swimming pool here. There's going to be... No, no, no. It's not enough. You've got to venture. And sometimes at the verge of, you know, venturing, just when you're about to do it, it always looks like it's, you don't have enough to do it. Have you ever been faced with something like that? Feeling like there's not enough to do what I got to do. Sometimes that's actually an indication that you should do it. Sometimes that's actually an indication that God is in that. Many people delay from taking the steps of faith they should take, take because they think everything must be available. It's good to calculate the cost, but it's also good to understand that life is supernatural. I've, I've told you sometimes that the conflict between your logic and your spirituality is one thing you must be able to manage very well. Otherwise, you're going to lose it when you have to be spirit supernatural. And sometimes you're going to also mix it up when you have to be logical. Is somebody getting me this morning? Sometimes at the verge of what you're about to do, you know, there, 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 there could still be some one or two loopholes somewhere, but it is not, it's not an indication. That's not a sign that you shouldn't 
shouldn't. That could actually be a sign sometimes that you should so you can see the hand of God. He says, I the Lord, I will do it so all eyes will see and know that I am the Lord. Have you ever adventured on something that at the point even you become so humble by what God is doing and you know that this is not you, this is the hand of God. I speak this word of faith. I speak this word of faith into the heart of somebody this morning. You're getting ready to rise up on your feet and begin to do those things. You're getting ready to venture this week. This week is not going to be a flat week. It's not going to be a week of depression. It's not going to be a week of sorrow. It's not going to be a week of misery because you are getting ready to take the steps of faith that God expects you to take this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I decree you will not fail, you will not stumble in the mighty name of Jesus. I raise a standard against the fear that you're battling with. I raise a standard against the fear of tomorrow, the fear of the future. Listen, let me tell you something. One of the things that makes me choose the people I hang with is the measure of it. When I look at somebody and I see what you can dare, it begins to tell me whether we're going to make good companion or not. This morning, I separate you from the people that increase your fear. No matter how psychedelic they are to you, no matter how pious they are to you, you don't need them. You don't need them for where you are going. I separate them. I separate them. Anyone that you are glued to who doesn't have the faith that you require, who is attached to your life and you're barely sentimental about it and you're not faithing it. I declare this morning, let it be a sudden separation. May you find the people with the first with the faith energy. May you find the right people with the faith energy required for you to venture into the things that you should venture into. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remember I said after the vision is written down, somebody needs to venture. I pray for you this morning. May the wind of the spirit push you into that decision that one day you will wake up to say, this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous to my side. You're thinking of real estate. You're thinking of international businesses. You're thinking of, you're thinking of different kinds of ventures. I pray if the people we call unbelievers, if they can take these steps of faith and then just go into it, how more of you and I that carry the Holy Ghost and fire and we're boiling in tongues and we're carrying the spirit of boldness which is the spirit of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you this morning. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help you. Oh, Rala Mama. I'm holding somebody's hand this morning at a place of prayer. And I'm declaring in the name of Jesus, you will no longer be, you will no longer be shy. You will no longer be timid. You will no longer be afraid. You will rise and you will make the decisions that you should make in the mighty name of Jesus. May you get up this week to venture in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that the mirage is, is cleared of what stood between you and the step of faith you should take. Somebody said faith is false evidence appearing real. There is a false evidence that is appearing real to somebody and it's the reason you've not changed from one level to another. I pray for you this morning. That mirage is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the hand of the wicked completely destroyed. This mirage could even be the patterns in your family and you may not know somebody has never lived beyond the snake line somebody's never lived above a particular limit in your family and this mirage keeps you on the spot i pray i pray every pattern in your family that stops you from making bold and loud steps in the name of jesus it is broken this morning it is shattered this morning in the mighty name of jesus i am the woman of god sent by god with his word in my mouth to tell you this morning it's, a, it's time to arise and make steps of faith it's time to arise and
and venture. It's time to arise and take those steps that you should take. God is saying, no matter how baby the steps are, you know, sometimes you, are, you, you could be feeling or feeling inferior that your steps are baby steps. No, no, no. It doesn't even have to be a giant step. It just has to be a step. It could be a baby step and leave the rest on God. The Bible says the leopards took steps and God amplified their steps. Your steps could be baby steps, but I'm getting, I'm, 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 I'm here to tell you that this week God is making those baby steps loud. Just don't sit on one position. Just don't sit on one position. Make sure that every day you are making a baby step towards what you dreamt, towards what you desire, towards what you prayed. Make sure you wake up each day making baby steps. God is healing you of an ankle problem. When you wake up every morning, try to exercise the ankle. God is healing you of a bone dislocation in your arm. Every morning when you get up, some steps may not be very long, but there are steps of faith. When you wake up every morning, try to exercise that part of the body. Try to raise that arm a little. Try to do something that you could not do a previous day. Sometimes success is a cumulative effect of the baby steps that you're taking. It's better to take a long time taking baby steps that grow your faith alongside than sitting on one spot and never taking a step at all. I bless you with the word of the Lord this morning. And I know that after this one encounter, you will dare something that you never done before and you will see the hand of God. After this one encounter, you will take a step of faith and you will see the victory of the Lord. You will see the grace of the Lord. You will see the backing of the Lord. God says I should tell somebody he's ready to back you this week. He is ready to give you the backing that you need in the name of Jesus. Even if you are standing alone, it's important to know there's a scripture for you. One with God is majority. You are never alone. You are never the, alone. You have God's backing in that thing that you're getting ready to do. I bless you with the word of the Lord this morning. And I declare and I decree whatever was done in the night against you. Is, I spoil it this morning in the name of Jesus. Whatever was orchestrated, I overcome panic attacks by the blood of Jesus. I confound the counsels of the wicked. This morning as we appear before the Lord, I declare the strength strategies and newly fine in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I declare that you are clothed with the favor of God. I declare that you are clothed in the beauty of God. I declare that you are clothed in the strength of the Lord and that you are so stepping out this week. Favor is your name. As you're stepping out this week, you will enjoy the blessings of the Lord. You will enjoy the victory of the Lord. Don't stop on us. Don't stay on the spot. It's time today. I declare that you're blessed this morning. You're favored. You're loved. Once more, welcome to a new week and God is still saying something. This has been your favorite woman of God, Prophetess Jerusha. And once more, don't sit on one spot. Get up and dare. Get up and try and God is getting ready to amplify your steps louder than last week. Today is going to be a great one. Happy new month. Oh yes. Oh yes. Happy new month. What is just reminding me again? Happy new month. You will not sit on a spot this month. You will not sit on a spot this season. God is getting ready to make your steps loud. I bless your day. I bless your week and I bless your, your month. I look forward to being with you again in subsequent amazing session. It's a great day. It's a great month and God has a lot in store for us this month. Guess what? God has a lot in store for us this month. I'll be back again to give somebody another word, then another word for the month of June. God bless you. And I'll see you again. Love you. Shalom. Please, as you are ending, you can kindly share this session with somebody. Let somebody hear this prophetic word that we heard today. And their lives are never going to be the same again. Remember the Bible says the entrance of the word. It brings light and understanding to this simple. I love you. And I'll see you again. Shalom.